Hi kids, this is Mr. Ayupich. We are working on bar modeling. Today is December 1st, and this is the cover of my packet. So right now I'm going to tell you to um, this packet, this um, using bar models editions, the one that says lesson 5.1 here, you don't need that anymore. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that one. So I would just fold it in half and then toss it so I don't get the two confused. I'm even gonna just take this one and be done with it. Um, and you can just make sure it doesn't end up lying around at your house somewhere, make sure it gets in the garbage. But again, chapter five, practice one, um, it should say page 73 at the bottom. That's the correct packet. So try not to tear up the wrong one, otherwise I'll end up dropping one off to you. Anyways, um, we are on page 75, so I'm going to go ahead and open to page 75, and then I'll pause it quick to get set up and zoomed in, and I got a little funny fold there. So I'm going to pause it now, and then we'll continue. All right, I'm back on track, um, but I forgot to zoom in, so wait one second. And here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is just read through this to you, because that's going to spark in my brain some things that you need to know. Solve used bar models to help you. A bookstore has 4,320 books and magazines. It has 2,169 books. The rest are magazines. How many magazines does the bookstore have? Then I have my bar model set up here. I've got missing number boxes, so I know I'll need to fill in numbers there and there, and I'll also need to fill in the question mark. These blank lines are going to be for numbers, I know that, and this circle is going to be identifying if it's addition or subtraction. So that's going to be my operation. And then remember, your answer should be written in a full sentence. So whatever number sentence you come up with here, the answer to that goes next to magazines because I'm answering in the form of a sentence. I know also that I need to go on to Letter B, when I'm done, B says there are 1,493 fashion magazines. The rest are sports magazines. How many sports magazines does the bookstore have? And so I can look in here at my bar model and know I have a missing number to fill in here, missing number to fill in here, 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 and here. And then also this is going to identify the circle. It's going to identify if it's addition or subtraction my answer is in the form of a sentence. So those are just some setup pieces for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and just get to work. And I'm going to do that just by taking apart the problem and looking at it piece by piece and focusing on the numbers. A bookstore has 4,320 books and magazines. So when I look at my bar model, I can see that books and magazines are stacked on top of each other. So I'm using a comparison model because they're on top of each other. And then I know that, well, if I take this bar and put this bar together, that's going to be my total. And I know that's the total of books and magazines. So this number, 4,320, should go in this box, 4,320. I'm done with that part. So I'm going to make a line through it in pencil, just a little line to erase it if I can. Um, that's why it's in pencil. It has 2,169 books. So I look again down at my bar model and I see my books bar is darker or uh, black in this case compared to gray for magazines. Books is 2,169. So I'm going to take that number, 2,169 and I'm going to put it in the books bar. And then I'm going to cross that one off. The rest are magazines. Okay, So if I don't know that number, I know I'm going to need to. That's where my question mark is down here. So I'm going to take and highlight that because this is my missing piece that I'm trying to find. Um, you don't have to highlight it if you don't want to. Now i got to start figuring out what to do. So my question is, how many magazines does the bookstore have? Well, I know the total between books and magazines is here. And I know the number of books they have is here, have, is here. So 
I know I'm going to have to use subtraction because I'm going to have to take away how many books they have to figure out how many magazines they have. So I'm going to put my subtraction symbol in there. Then it comes down to, well, which number goes where? If you remember in subtraction, we always start with a larger number first. So I know this 4,320 is going to go here. And then my smaller number, 2,169, is going to go here. I'm going to tell you again, I don't like horizontal problems. It's just too hard for me to do and think in my brain to do. So I'm going to restructure this. I'm going to change it a little because anything in math that I don't like, I can change to try and come up with a better solution. So I'm going to take those numbers and I'm going to write them off to the side and I'm going to set them up vertically so it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. Nine, uh, zero, take away nine, I know I can't do. So automatically I have to regroup and I go over and I borrow one from here. That becomes a one and this becomes a 10. Now I can do it. 10 minus nine, one. One, take away six, I can't do that, so I have to regroup again. So I'm gonna go over to my hundreds place and I'm gonna take 100 away. Now I have two hundreds and I have 11 tens. So 11 minus six is five. I can subtract one from two, so two minus one is one. And then I can subtract two from four. So four minus two is two. If I've done my math correctly, I know that there are 2,151 magazines at the bookstore. So I'm going to take this number, my answer, and I'm going to write it here. Now, I'm going to pause just for a second. Not really. I'm just going to stop so I can explain something to you. You can see I'm writing the same numbers here three times, 4,320, 4,320, 4,320. I'm writing this number, 2,169, three times in three places, here, here, and here. And my answer I have in three places also, here, here, here. What this is supposed to do is just help you organize in your brain how to do things but it's still only one problem. So that's the purpose of bar modeling, is to help you see something that allows you to do the math problem in an easier way. Now I'm finished with A, I'm gonna go on to B. Same thing. I know I have a couple missing number boxes, so I'm gonna start line by line. There are 1,493 fashion magazines. My box next to fashion magazines is here. I'm going to cross this out, and I'm going to write my 1,493 in this box, if I can fit it. And then it says the rest are sports magazines. Well, that's this part here, okay? And I don't know that because it just says the rest. It doesn't tell me how many. And then it says how many sports magazines does the bookstore have? Well, if I go only from the information they're giving me here in B, then I can't solve this problem because I didn't fill in this blank. I have to go all the way up to A and look at my answer from A because this is how many magazines the bookstore has. So I can fill this number in here, 2,000. 151. Now I have all my information, but again, it doesn't all come from this question. Some of it comes from the answer above, and kids struggle with that when they have two step problems. Step one is A, step two is B, and they forget that they can go all the way back to the beginning to fill in missing numbers. Now that I have those numbers filled in, Again, I can go ahead and complete my work. So first things first, is it addition or subtraction? Well, the way this is set up, I'm not adding these two together.
because this is my total. So I'm taking this darker bar away from this total line. So I'm subtracting. So I'm going to put my subtraction symbol in here. And again, I'm going to look at my numbers to find out which one's larger. 2,151 goes first. 1,493 goes second because I can't take a smaller number. I can't take a larger number away from a smaller number. It just doesn't work. And then I'm going to go ahead and restructure it. I'm going to set it up over here. 2,151 minus 1,493. And I'm going to solve my problem. I know I can't take 3 from 1, so I have to regroup. 11 minus 3 is 8. I can't take 9 from 4, so I have to regroup. This is going to turn into a 0. 14 minus 9 is 5. I can't take 4 from 0, so I'm going to regroup here. 10 minus 4 is 6. 1 minus 1 is 0. And I don't have to put that 0 in. So I know my answer is 658. What I am going to tell you is you can see I kind of got a little slant going on here. And to be honest, I got a little confused with where my numbers were set up. So it's important that you be neat and organized because even if you know exactly what you're doing, if things don't line up properly, sometimes it can get confusing. So I didn't set this up um, the absolute best, but it still worked for me. So try and stay organized is the lesson or the moral of the story. 658 is my answer. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm also going to put it here because I'm going to answer in the form of a sentence. The bookstore has 658 sports magazines. And now I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video before I get to the next one because we are doing pages 75 and 76. Um, and then on the next page, I'm going to have you just do it on your own. But I'm going to take a second to take a breath. Then we'll read the problem. Then you'll pause it finish it on your own and then I will show you the answers and how I did my work. This is page 76. This one you'll do on your own. I will read it to you so if you want to hear me read it to you you can keep watching. If you don't just pause it now and then go ahead and complete your work and then check your answers at the end. Number three, raise a rope is 1,452 centimeters long. Hannah's rope is 379 centimeters longer than Ray's rope. How long is Hannah's rope? Bar model, empty spaces for my number sentence, answer in the form of a sentence. Hannah's rope is some number of centimeters long. Part B, or step two, Ray uses 645 centimeters of his rope. How long is his remaining rope? Bar model, Empty spaces for numbers, empty spaces for number sentence, circle for addition or subtraction, and then answer in the form of a sentence. Ray's remaining rope is some number of centimeters long. So at this point, please go ahead and pause your video, complete your work as best you can, and then just check it with mine. Okay, so I've gone back through and I've finished number three and I will talk you through a little bit of my notes but hopefully you can see the answers. Um, what you should have ended up with is Hannah's rope is 1,831 centimeters long and Ray's remaining rope is 807 centimeters long. So as long as you have that information you are good to stop if you got everything correct. If you didn't get things correct, I'm gonna ask you to keep watching so I can explain this to you and you can figure out where you might have gone wrong. So it's kind of like a choose your own adventure. You can be done with the video or you can keep watching if you missed them. So I'm gonna keep going, but if you have what you need, you can feel free to stop the video and move on to your next task. Um, raise rope is here. 1,452 centimeters. Uh, Hannah has 379 more centimeters, so that's this space. And together, Hannah's rope is this long. So if I add this and this, 
it's going to give me 1831 centimeters so i just have to slow that down a little because i feel like now i'm talking too fast um, i know raised rope is 1452 centimeters i put that here i know hannah's rope is 379 centimeters longer i put that here and then i figured out how long hannah's rope was well i know i need to add these two together 1452 plus 379 I don't like horizontal, so I switched it to vertical, and I did my calculation. I ended up with 1,831. If you went wrong, it's likely that it's somewhere in here, so you might want to reset and, and do that problem again. Just cross it off and rewrite it over here um, just to double-check your work. And then I put my answer in here. Moving down, though, this one's a little more confusing. I know Ray uses 645 centimeters of his rope. So I know that's just part of the hole. So I put it in this gray box. And then I know from my first problem that Ray's total rope is 1,452 centimeters long. They don't label that clearly, but that's what goes here. How long is Ray's rope? And then he uses this much, so whatever is not used is left over here. So this one is subtraction. 1,452 is my greater number, so that goes first. Minus 645. I switched it to vertical, did my calculations, and came up with 807. If you went wrong, again, it's probably in the calculations part. Okay, So I would recommend just rewriting it and solving it again but your answer should be raised rope is 807 centimeters long. So hopefully that little bit of an explanation helped. I'm sorry I felt a little disjointed because another teacher came in and I was talking to them for a while. So if the video is a little mixed up, that's why. But hopefully you have everything you need. Tomorrow, we will move on to practice two. Um, and we should, our explanations should be a little bit faster as we move forward. So thanks kids, bye.